Oh, we got a good one for you today, kids. Anybody that knows me know that I talk a lot of shit about these modern games, right? But look what we have here. A re-release of an old Sonic game with additional content? Heard it all before. But check it. This one is a current gen version of the one you liked. The very specific one that you were all begging Sega to make a sequel to. Oh, don't be shy. You, you know you did it. You know you did it. Well, until we get that one, here's your favorite chili dog eating hedgehog game with some extra DLC that puts Sonic Forces to shame. Yo, what's up people? This is Lou from The Hue, giving you a different take on the quote unquote new Sonic game. Hopefully not too different. For all the diehard Sonic fans out there, I ain't gotta tell y'all shit. Y'all done already new game plus the hell out of this. For everybody else on the fence, uh, why? Because you already beat it on your old PS3? What, you been got all the s rays planted off your dusty ass Xbox 360 that's now sitting up in your dirty clothes hamper? <laughs> Let's be real here. You got that console up inside a glass display cabinet or on fucking eBay or something. Let us all not pass up this wonderful opportunity to enjoy a game from a franchise that is the gold standard of the phrase hit or miss. Okay, now I got all the fanboys back on my side. They understand. They know what I'm talking about. And it is my pleasure to proclaim that Sonic X Shadow Generations is a hit. It is a hit, my boy. And not because it's a re-release. And yes, it is a re-release. Don't act like y'all got a problem with that. If FromSoft officially came out with a re-release of Bloodborne with a Lock 60, you'd be jumping for fucking joy, wouldn't you? It's because of the added DLC content called Shadow Generations. And I'ma tell you right now, this extra content makes the purchase worth every penny. It's not even 70 bucks. You can afford that shit. Stop playing. The most important aspect of Shadow's content, in my opinion, is that it improved the things that we had a problem with in the previous games that this content uses as reference. Let me say that again, slowly. The shit that we thought sucked in other Sonic games, they brought it back and fixed it. I'll give you two examples. All I need is one, Sonic Frontiers. You don't need a mini review on that game. Sonic fans played this on release day. Frontiers started out strong, then eventually went downhill. You can't debate this, it's facts. Neither here nor there. Every region of Frontiers felt like it was unfinished. The goddamn pop-in. How many times did you think to yourself, now how in the hell do I get all the way up there? Oh, never mind. I just had to get right underneath the shit and wait about 10 seconds. I ain't the only one here, come on now. As much fun as we had with parts of that game, that did get annoying after a while. What did Shadow Generations do? It gave us an open world hub, and the beauty of it, the chef's kiss, mwah. When you beat all the stages and the environment cleared up, you could clearly see shit a mile away. Nothing had to load in, nothing had to pop in as soon as you venom slid your ass up to something. You could see everything. Tell me why two Sonic games on the same PS5 console perform so different. I guess having a completely different team of designers and programmers makes all the damn difference. Example number two. Since Sega's making a callback with this game, I guess I'll do that too. Making a callback to a game I said at the beginning of this video. Sonic Forces. You don't need me to review on that game. Sonic fans played this on release day. Forces started out terrible and stayed that way. You can't debate this. It's facts. Neither here nor there. <laughs> what was the issue with Sonic Forces again? Oh yeah, the levels were too damn short. And on top of that, 90% of those short ass levels were just straight shots. Boost to win. Hold boost, 60 seconds later the level's over. Garbage. Why would Sega waste such good stage music where you wouldn't even hear the full song if Sonic literally walked his ass to the goal? I ain't the only one here, bruh. You know what the gold standard really is for the Sonic franchise? The fucking music, my dude. What did Shadow Generations do? It brought back Sonic Forces. And the beauty of it, the chef's kiss, mwah, they improved it. Not only was it longer, they brought back multiple paths, better stage gimmicks, better set pieces, better story, better cinematics. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, have mercy. It's the Sonic Renaissance. Is Sonic finally back? No. Remember, this is just a re-release. It's not a brand new full game, but it is a game that I believe is worth full price. Even if you already own the OG, and from one Sonic fan to another, full disclosure, 
I'm also waiting for Sega to come out with a Sonic Generations 2. And I'll do you one better. Since they want to bring back these older levels, how about they make a long 3D version of Labyrinth Zone? I'd love to see that shit. Beep, 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 beep. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Appreciate you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, this is Lou from the U. Until next time. <laughs>